today and hope you guys thought the yeah, preview looked good of the free transition ideas for uh, music videos which I'm going to be showcasing to you guys today. And if you guys don't know, I have a website called editingvisuals.com where we have a lot of editing packs that's going to help you out in your editing. So if you guys want to level up your editing game, I think you guys should check this website out. Now let's get into the tutorial. So yeah, here I'm in After Effects. I've added some footage I'm going to be showcasing the transition on. Yeah, I'm going to be showcasing the first transition now. So this is the light blur transition. And uh, we're going to start off by creating a adjustment layer. So we're going to press Ctrl Alt Y, get the adjustment layer. And we're going to be making the adjustment layer 20 frames in width. So you guys can, yeah, if you want to make the fast part, you can go, just go to the 20 frame number there. Cut the adjustment layer, set it in the middle of the transition point. And here I'm going to start off by adding camera lens blur. And yeah, here I'm going to be going to the transition point, setting the blur radius to 50. So we get this strong lens blur here. Click the clock to start keyframing it. Beginning set it to zero, the ending set it to zero there as well. After that, I'm going to be adding brightness and contrast. And I'm going to set the brightness to 100 and keyframe it at the transition point, go to the beginning, set it to zero, go to the ending, set it to zero as well. After that we're going to be opening up the adjustment layer, effects, brightness and contrast, mark the keyframes, press F9, do the same with the camera lens blur keyframes here, mark them, press F9. So they're going to be more smooth now instead. And this is how the transition is going to look here. Pretty, pretty clean and smooth light blur transition you guys can use for your music videos. Now moving on to the next transition is going to be the fast shake transition. So here I have my footage, I have marked out where the transition point is. And here I'm going to be using a plugin called Shake Sauce 2, which is yeah probably the greatest shake plugin on the whole editing yeah, market. <laughs> it's incredibly good and uh, yeah i'm going to be showcasing how to use it just go to your and here we have shake sauce 2 very clean layout and the shake sauce 2 already has i mean very very many inbuilt shakes you guys can use but i'm going to be showcasing a custom shake you guys can use which is uh, yeah very cool in my opinion it's the fast shake transition. What you're going to be doing is basically selecting your footage. After that, you're going to be pressing the plus button here, and it's going to be creating this control layer. So here I'm going to start off by setting the position amount, and I'm going to set the amplitude to 500. So you just double click on the adjuster here. You guys can drag it as well, but it's easier, I think in my opinion, to enter your value instead. And I'm going to set the frequency to 10. After that, uh, select the keyframes here. Now if you guys open the layer up, you guys can see we have the keyframe dots here. It's creating the keyframes. Then you can go to the, uh, yeah, we have rotation and scale settings here. Uh, for this shake, I'm not gonna use uh, any of these uh, settings here, but I'm going to be using the flicker and blur settings here instead. So I'm going to, yeah, select the flicker effect so you guys can see what you're editing. <laughs> and here I'm going to set the flicker amplitude to 10. Flicker frequency to 100 and the flicker brightness to 1. So it's going to look something like this here. Now we can keyframe all of the settings here. You guys can of course adjust the motion blur here. I don't like when the motion blur is too high. So you guys can 140 to 60 there is good for this uh, shake here. After that you're going to go 8 frames before the transition. And here we're going to set all the settings to 0. So drag this one to 0, 0, 0. Go to position, set this to 0 as well. Then do the same for after the trans transition point. So 8 frames, here set it to 0. Now when this is done, we're going to be editing the graph a little bit. So if you go to effects, shake sauce 2, position. You're going to be marking the upper keyframes. Press F9 to ease them. Open up the graph here, and I'm going to make a simple sharp graph. It's going to look something like this. Pretty, pretty clean. Now go down to flicker settings here. Mark the upper keyframes, press F9, and the bottom keyframes here, and press F9 as well. Make the graphs here the same as the first graph. Just like this, same here. Simple sharp graph for both settings. So now it's going to look something like this here. 
very very clean in my opinion now if you guys want to save this as a preset you guys are going to be pressing set center keyframes and you guys can see the keyframes are going to be turning red and after that you guys can mark the keyframes just like that go to the save icon here here you can write fast shake then you're going to be pressing save and after you guys have pressed save you guys can go to presets then go to keyframed and you guys can see fast shake is going to be saved right there so you guys can just double click on it and it's going to be applied very easy very simple that's how you make the fast shake transition be sure to check out shake sauce 2 it's going to be linked in the description if you guys want to check this plugin out now this is going to be the third transition in this tutorial it's going to be the radial flicker blur transition and for this one you're going to be making a adjustment layer control alt y it's going to be 16 frames in width just like that drag it in the middle of the transition point and here we're going to be adding radial blur and at the transition point i'm going to be increasing the amount to 50 so it's going to be a very very strong radial blur here and i'm going to be keeping the amount at 50 at the transition point go to the beginning set it to zero go to the ending set it to zero open the adjustment layer up effects radial blur mark the keyframes press f9 open the graph here we're going to make a classic sharp graph it's going to look something like this here after you're done with that it's going to look something like this here pretty clean with just a simple uh, sharp graph after that we're going to be adding flicker and for the amplitude here on flicker we're going to be setting it to three so it's going to have a very very strong flicker amount here basically and uh, yeah i think it looks very very good and you're also going to be setting the random color amplitude to one as well so after that keyframe the uh, these two settings go to the beginning set it to zero ending at the same there as well set it to zero and it's going to look something like this here insanely silly clean and uh, good looking transition in my opinion open the flicker here mark all the keyframes here just like that go to animation save animation preset radial flicker blur just press save and your transition is going to be saved basically and if you guys enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe and share this tutorial don't forget to check out shake sauce 2 uh, which I used in this tutorial here. It's going to be linked in the description so you guys can go and check it out. Also, don't forget to check out our website, editingvisual.com, our socials, our Discord server, and I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.